What's going on YouTube? My name is Lesikha Shibambo and welcome to my channel since 1995 movie reviews and here on this channel we just break down a few movies that I find that are very classic from the 90s and kind of look at what's modern today and we kind of pick it apart and have fun together. Today's movie review is the Disney classic The Lion King. The Lion King the 1994 version. It's the animated one. Um, I know we have the live action one from 2019, 2020, um, and we have the Broadway, but right now we're talking about the golden age of Disney. Now, this movie is a classic. Like, I mean, you have uh, 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 a young cub by the name of Simba right now, who is in this uh, family, the lions, you know what I mean, who are the king, basically the king of the pride land. And um, there's family tension right there because... Uh, Simba's uh, uncle Scar is like a rival lion but he's a little more better than the alpha his dad uh, Mufasa and what happens is uh, Simba is in line to become a king in uh, Pride Rock into this mainland in Africa and uh, there's a situation where uh, there's family conflict and Simba's left to run away from the situation and uh, right now we follow Simba who's a young prince after finding uh, conflict at home and uh, going through hardship, seeing him grow and seeing him overcome that and becoming the rightful king of Pride Rock. Now, this movie is filled with so many stars. You've got uh, Jeremy Irons, you've got James Earl Jones with the classic vibrato voice. And uh, this movie not only just shows you just the complexities of the animal kingdom, uh, one of the things that I find really, really fascinating about this movie is we kind of interjected uh, more of like human traits to lions you know what i mean because it's just like hey lions have one uh wife like one lioness wife whereas you can see kind of see the film like oh no there's <laughs> there's more than one lioness so there's something going on here and we all know for a fact that uh a male lion comes in and the lionesses is just they he's to choose from and whatever kids he has those kids become uh, um, in line to become the one that take over from him and other rival lions basically scar would always be fine always try to find a way to kill off the alpha light so he can take that uh, place so he can lead he can have as many mates as he wants but at the same time they also show you some of the 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 animal kingdom tendencies uh, of uh, the rival scar trying to take over the 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 kinship the the leadership of uh the pa the pack of lions and like i mean um like i said it started with whoopi goldberg she's one of the voices of the lions and uh, one of the hyenas <laughs> apologies and the hyenas in the movie are absolutely hilarious uh, uh and just each character you've got rafiki you've got like the old the og the kind of the guy in the community who knows all the traditions and he's one of the leaders and he's uh uh kind of talking to the king and he he has these oh the king needs to do this the king you've got um you've got um timon and pumba who become friends of uh like unlikely friends later on in simba's development as he goes through character developments at one point just living a carefree life but understanding and realizing that he's calling and his destiny he can't run away from it and he's called back into this space of conflict in this space where he once ran away from and you begin to see how Simba who was lining up to take leadership who lost his place in life and seeing how his character develops from being rock bottom until he takes the place of being a king so guys um this is an instant classic you can watch it with your family it's like it has a runtime of one hour 28 minutes it's absolutely amazing it's probably on disney plus right now you can rent it in fact i would recommend that you buy this classic because it's one of those things that personally for me uh just i'm originally from south africa and uh, i've had certain things in my life and my development that the movie kind of makes me relate to certain characters and the 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 plight the the main thing of embracing who you are never forgetting who you are one of the classic lines of the movie is when mufasa simba's dad visits mufasa in a uh, visits simba in the scene and i won't spoil it for you guys but there's a certain scene where mufasa talks 
to Simba and uh, Simba is just like that. I don't know what to do. And Mufasa's main line was, remember who you are. As a kid, that just threw me in loops of just understanding who I am and my identity and the things that I want to be, you know what I mean? And the things that I had a struggle coming to terms with. And so it not only is a family classic, it's, it's very central to just kind of my formation as character. And I know for a fact there is <laughs> a generation that grew up with this movie and they can't help but embrace that this movie is almost like a like a pseudo spiritual hymn in their lives and it's just been a part of their development. So guys, this is my movie review and my rating for this movie is a banging. This is a banging movie. Disney, uh, Disney uh, was at the peak of its game right here and they produced this classic and honestly, it's one of the best films ever. It's in my top 10 just in general and give me any other movie and I can match this movie up to that. So. Thank you guys again for tuning in and I'll see you guys later.